we thank God this morning. We wish to welcome all of us that are joining us online for this service. We thank God for his sustenance. We thank God for his grace. And so we wish to just ask you to join us, have this fellowship as we share the word, as we sing and worship God. May the Lord just minister to your hearts and your spirits. Karibuni sana. The Lord be with you. I am going to take this opportunity to invite the singers, the praise and worship team, so that they can come and lead us in worship. Nina sababu ya kuku abudu. Nina sababu ya kuku sifu. Uku wako na uaminifu wako ni sababu ya kuku abudu ni na sababu ya kuku abudu ni na sababu ya kuku sifu Kuwako na uamini fuwako ni sababu ya kuku abudu. Oh, hallelujah, ni na sababu ya kuku abudu. Oh, hallelujah, ni na sababu ya kuku sifu. Amen. Let us agree together in a word of prayer. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, we bow before you this morning with joy and thanksgiving in our hearts. We praise you for your grace and your goodness towards each one of us, O God. We adore you, our Father. Your word says that all things that have breath should praise your name. And this morning, Lord, you have given us an opportunity to be alive. We worship, exalt, and adore you, O God. We come before you, Father, as we confess our sin and wickedness, Lord, and ask that you forgive us and that the blood of Jesus that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel may speak concerning us this morning to reconcile us back to God, O God. And so we repent and turn away from our wickedness. We repent the sin of this nation that our Father, we may 
have fellowship with you this day. We thank you for many blessings that you have blessed each one of us with, O oh God. Those of us who are watching online, we praise you, O oh God, that you have walked with us, you have protected us, you have provided for us, you have healed our diseases, you have taken care of our families, you have blessed our nation, our Father and our God. We have reasons to rejoice this morning, for we have seen your grace and your goodness. And we come before you, Lord Jesus, desiring that you continue to meet with us at the point of our needs, O oh God. And so we wish to present ourselves to you, our Father. You know the different situations of our lives. We pray that in the name of Jesus, come through for us. You know the needs that we have. Some of us are sick in our bodies. Some of us have sick uh, people among us, oh God, friends and relatives. We pray that your hand that heals may reach them and make them well. We pray about our families, our job situations, our business situations, oh God, that we are Father, we have been shaken, especially because of the COVID-19 issue. We pray that our Father, you make a way for us. Heal our land, heal our lives, heal our investments, heal our businesses, heal our jobs, oh God, that we continue to rejoice in you, our Father and our King. We want to thank you for this nation where, Lord, you have caused us to dwell. Thank you for the Father that you have brought us, oh God. We continue to pray for those that are in authority and leadership, in accordance with your word, that you may teach them your ways, you may help them to say what is right and true, and to lead in righteousness, O oh God, so this nation may know your peace, O oh God. We ask your blessings upon this land and nation to the glory of your name. We thank you for the church that you have purchased with your own blood, O oh Jesus. We pray for the ministers of your word, we pray for the leaders of the church, O oh God, the Presbyterian Church and all other churches where people gather to worship you, our Father, we pray that, O oh God, may you make yourself known, may you make yourself manifest among your people as you minister, O oh God, as you speak to us, even in your word. And this morning, Lord Jesus, we open our ears and our hearts to receive your word. We pray that uh, as the minister comes forward to just share your word, may you use him and speak through him. Open our hearts and our minds, Lord Jesus, to hear your voice. Help us to be obedient and to receive your word and to do according to that word, O oh God. Spend this time with us. Lead us. Guide us. Through the week, O oh God, watch over us and keep us. Continue to work among us, even through the challenges that we continue to face. We put our hope and our trust in you because you are faithful and able to carry us through. We give thanks and we pray humbly, believing and trusting in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Bwana Yesu hasifiwe sana. It is my hope and prayer that all of you are well. And I'm also well. Christ is the Lord of my life. I welcome you uh, at the feet of Jesus that we may hear the word of God. Today I'm going to reflect about God, the Lord, our God. That is the topic of our reflection. And I believe we shall be blessed. Our leading comes from the book of Exodus, chapter uh, 3, and I'm going to lead four first verses. Uh, verse number 7, I will jump to verse number 13 to 15. And the Bible says, And the Lord said, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry because of their taskmasters, for I know they are solo. Verse number 13, then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me. Moreover, God said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, The Lord your God, the Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name, and this is my memorial to all generations. Wana Yesu asifiwe. We can all of us recall about the calling of Moses after the
the suffering of God's people, the Israelites, when God confessed and confirmed that he has heard their cry and seen their oppression. They were tortured in slavery. They were not getting enough out of the sweat because every effort of the sweat, the benefit of the sweat was directed to the Egyptians whom they were working for. And, and thus they cried to the Lord in the year suffering and we find the scripture confirming or God confirming in the scripture that he has heard the cry. Na wakati huo akaweza kumtokea Ibrahimu and he sent him to deliver the people of Israel from the hands of oppression, from the slavery uh, of Pharaoh. And Moses uh, felt as if he was not equal to task. He started bringing reasons as to why uh, he is not able to go. Na akaweza kumuambia mungu, mimi sielewi sana, uh, si, siwezi sana kuongea. Kuna mambo ambayo siwezi kufanya. And he was given Joshua to go with him. And again we find that God confirmed he will be together with him. And that is why we found God telling Joshua, what do you have in your hand? And he said it is a stick. He was told to throw it down and it became a snake. And again he was told to pick it from the cloud. And it, be, it came back to, to become a stick. This confirmed that the staff of Moses was imparted with power. The power that signified the presence of God. And that is why even when in Egypt we could find Moses telling uh, Joshua uh, to dip, uh, telling, telling uh, the, his servant to dip uh, his, the, the staff into the water and the water turned into blood. And out of that scripture, we can be able to see the nature of God, the God that we serve, the God our Lord, the God that we relate with, the God that we pray. Mungu huyu ni wainagani. And I'm going to address some few things about this God. And number one, we find that the God that we serve is a God who sees and hears. Mungu wetu ni mungu anaye ona na anaye sikia. And I like it in the book of Psalms where David says that God is seated in, the, in his throne in the heavens. And he sees the people who live on the earth, the people who are in this universe. This tells us that God sees you. He sees me. Mungu ananiona mimi, anakuona wewe. Anaona mapito tunayopiti andani yake. And even when we are going through a dark moment, the Lord sees. And we find God confirming this in verse 7, uh, telling Moses, that I have seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. And I have heard the cry. Beyond seeing, God even hears. Whenever we cry unto him, whenever we are in anguish and we call upon his name, he hears our prayers. Our God is a prayer healing God and he is a prayer answering God. We find him answering the cry of the people of, of, of Israel when they were oppressed in Egypt and he sent Moses to deliver them. Number two about God is that our God is an everlasting God. He is everlasting. He was there, he is, and he shall ever be. And the way he was in the times of Moses is the way he is today and is, is the same that he shall ever be even in the future. We as men, we grow old, we change with the time. And even time reaches that people die and they vanish. We find properties and good things in our lives. They come and go. Calamities and problems, they vanish after some time. But our God never ceases to exist. He remains the same. And the way he was, the way he is, even at such a time that he may be so silent, even at such a time that we may feel as if he may be too far from us, 
even at such a time that we may be aguishing in problems and persecution and in, in difficulties of life, our God still exists. You know, kuna wakati inafika tunaona kama mungu yuko mbali sana. Kama hata wakati tunaomba, kama maombi yetu hayaendi mahali popote, ama kama hakusikia, even at such a time, God is ever present, he is the Lord God with us, and he shall ever be and remain the same. By the way, what, what separates us from God, that we may feel as if he may be too far, is the sinful nature that is in man. In man. Because the Bible tells us in Isaiah that our sins separate us from God. Not that the hand of God is too short to save, neither his ears broke not to hear. They are not deaf to, not to hear our cry. But what separates us from God is our sin. It is our high time that we may cry to God because whenever we may repent of all our sins, he shall hear our cry. Number three, about this God who is our Lord, the God of the people of Israel who appeared to Moses is that our God never changes. He never changes. Our God changes not. We find him giving uh, Moses his names. And one of the names that he told Moses he is, is that I am. He is the Lord. I am. He told Moses, go and tell the people of Israel that I am who I am. I am has sent you to them. Being I am means that he is all the time and there is no one time that he shall change to become something else. Because I am is not a specific name. I am is like a condition. And the condition that God was in, he is even now and he shall ever be. Praise the name of the Lord. And again we find him making a covenant to Abraham. And this is the second name that he gave to Moses. That he, Go and tell them that God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob has sent you. Na hii ni kumanisha ya kwamba ama he, he wanted to remind them that he had a covenant with Abraham so so many years back. He had a covenant with Isaac. He had a covenant with Jacob when he was changed his name to Israel. And there's the same same God who was in those ages. He is the same God who came to deliver them. Our God never changes. The way he was in the times of our Lord Jesus Christ, he is the same today and he shall ever be. The way he was in the times of Abraham, the times of Isaac, the times of Jacob, he is the same God. And this gives us peace. This gives us confidence in this God. This makes our minds and our hearts to be settled when we remember that, that, that our God never changes. That even when we may go through situations, that even when we may find ourselves in darkness, we should remember that we have a God in heaven who changes not, and he is God Emmanuel. He has uh, confirmed in the book of Psalms 23 that he will walk with us and be with us even when we shall be walking through the valleys of darkness. Number four, our God is God of covenant. Our God is a God of covenant. He operates through covenant. His language is a language of covenant. We find him telling Moses, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob has sent you to the people of Israel. Go and tell them so. This was just a reminder to the people of Israel that he is a God of covenant. That they are living under the covenant of God. He, he was reminding the people of Israel that he is a faithful God to his promises and also to the covenant that he has made. Even if he made it so, so many years ago, he remains the same God who is faithful to his covenant. Today, we are living at a time of grace that is, through, that is in Christ Jesus. We are living in a new dispensation of a covenant. And that is why we find the scripture, it is in Old Testament and in New Testament. 
The Old Testament is under the covenant of, Mose, of Abraham, under the covenant of Isaac, under the covenant of Jacob. But the new covenant is the covenant that is in Christ Jesus. And that is why the scripture says that God sent his beloved son that whomever believes in him shall never perish. We will not perish if we have faith in Jesus. And if you want to relate with Jesus, if you want to, uh, God to hear your cry and also to set his eyes on you and to deliver you in, in whichever situation that you may be in, just get yourself under the covenant of our Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Do you have Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior? If you have Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you only need to have faith in him and pray to God and you shall be delivered by his mercies. And finally, number five, God works out his plan. Mungu wetu anafanyia mpango wake na kusudi lake kazi. He had a plan and a purpose. He had a mission to deliver the people of Israel. He used Moses just, just like a vessel. Moses was just a vessel that he may be sent to represent God. And that is why we find him giving Moses power through his staff. That whenever he lifted it, there was a way even in the ocean where there seemed to be no way. The people of Israel were desperate at the edge of the Red Sea. And they were wondering, our enemies are coming. And there is no way ahead. Where shall we, what shall we do? Where shall we learn to? But the Lord told them to be still. And Moses was told to lay his staff towards the sea, and a way was made. This means that our God works out his plan. He never abandoned Moses. The Bible tells us that Moses was fearful, and he, God told him that you will not go alone. I will walk with you. And another lesson that I'm learning out of this is that there is no one, if God is working out his plan, there is no one who can hinder. God's vision. There is no one who can hinder the mission of God. There is no one who can hinder the purpose of God. Pharaoh attempted to do so. But God dealt with him and he was, he perished in the Red Sea. He was destroyed by the power of God that was in the staff of Moses. And even when he attempted uh, uh, to block the people, or rather to hinder the people of Israel from getting free, we find the power of God came upon him and he was struck by so many plagues and he gave up upon the, 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 the hand of God because the Lord God was out there to accomplish his mission and purpose. Even in your life, my dear brother and sister, when you have trust in the Lord and faith in him, he will work out his plan in your life and nothing will hinder the plan of God for you. Even Corona will not hinder the plan of God for your life. Corona will not hinder the plan of God for his church. Yes, the churches may be crossed. And I thank God because the churches are crossed for the safety of God's people. But it will not hinder the plan of God. Actually, it will facilitate the will and plan of God for my life and for your life. Let us have trust in this God. He is a God of covenant. Let us get under the umbrella of Jesus Christ. There are so, so many promises in Jesus Christ and our lives will be saved. May the Lord God bless you. May he be manifest in your life in his different ways and forms. May he be seen in every aspect of your life. We are going to pray. Tutaweza kuomba na nitaweza pia kuombea sadaka yako kwa ajiri ya kutoa kwa ajiri ya kazi ya buwana na ninajua ya kwamba mungu watazidi kukubariki we relate with God in faith and we worship God even in our giving and I believe as you extend your heart through the platforms given you shall be blessed of the Lord let us pray tuwa kushukuru mbaba mwenyezi kwa wema na fadhili zako ewe buwana tuwa sema ni asante kwa kunena na nafsi zetu na kutukumbusha jinsi vile ulivyo wewe ni mungu usia badilika na tunakuona jinsi vile ulivyo kuwa divyo ulivyo sasa na divyo utaendelea kuwa. Baba wa binguni haubadiliki kamwe. 
hata wakati majila yabadilika twasema ni asante mfalme mwema twajiachilia mikononi mwako na ili ukazidi kuandamana na sisi wewe ambaye haubadiliki ukaweze kuandamana na sisi ukatupatie ushindi katika kila hali ya maisha yetu na mkumbuka msikilizaji wangu na mtazamaji wangu siku ya leo anayefuatilia program hii baba mwema naomba baraka yako ikaweze kuwa juu yake umsaidie kujifisha katika agano lako lililo ndani ya Kristo Yesu kwa maana wale wote ambao wamefunikwa na mabawa ya Yesu hawataweza kuangamia na ili jina lako lihimidiwe milele baba wa mbinguni tuwakushukuru kwa ajili ya kwamba hali zote zawezekana na wewe naomba ya kwamba ukamwe uka, ukaweze kuingilia kati katika hali yoyote ile ndugu na dada yangu anaweza kuwa ndani yake na ili ukaweze kumpatia ushindi na nguvu yako ikadhihilike na mara tu tunapokulilia bwana tunaomba ukazidi kusikia kilio chetu na ili ukaweze kutuletea ukombozi katika jina la Yesu twasema ni asante kwa wale wote ambao wanatayarisha sadaka yao na ili wakaweze kuituma kupitia mitandao imepeanwa bwana twakushukulu kwa hawa wote ambao wanatoa Tuomba ya kwamba ukaweze kupokea sadaka hizi na ili jina lako litukuzwe. Tuomba sadaka hii ikaweze kuwa manukato machoni pako na ili ukaweze kuwakumbuka katika maisha yao, uandamane na wao na utembee na wao. Na ni katika Kristo Yesu tunaomba na hata kuamini. Amen. So my dear brother and sister may the Lord bless you and do you good. May his shadow of favor continue to be with you that he may lead you in every way. The blessings of God Almighty Father Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Have a nice time. May the Lord God bless you.